this half term we have visited mountains and animals and a castle and caves and this week we are traveling all the way for our longest journey to visit a place called Maryport because it's a port which used to be called Ellenfoot really Ellenfoot why would you call a town Ellenfoot because Debbie it's at the foot of the river Ellen Oh, right. Anyway, here I am, and this is my friend Ruth. In Maryport, not Ellenfoot. Not Ellenfoot. But why is it called Maryport, Ruth? Because it was named by a man whose wife was called Mary. And it's a port. I've always thought it would be nice to live in a port. Hey, Debbie, did you ever find your other welly? Yes, I'm wearing both. So am I. Look. We are trying to get into the shoes of being a fisherman. You know, imagining what it would be like. Well, they do often wear wellies and waterproof dungarees. And, well, anything really to stop the water from making their feet wet. And to make sure they don't slip over on the wet deck of a boat. Oh, it would be great to be a fisherman on a calm evening with beautiful sunsets and wide sparkly oceans. But then this is the Irish Sea, Sarah, mm. which is often rough, which wouldn't feel so great. Yes, when I sail over the Irish Sea to visit my family in the Isle of Man, it is horrible when it's rough. I don't think I'd like to be a fisherman. Mm. Our story today is about a man who went to a port, got in a boat and ended up in a terrible storm. The man was called Jonah, and God told him to go to a place called Nineveh to warn the people there about their bad behaviour. But Jonah ran off to a port called Joppa, and then he jumped on a boat to Tarshish. Mm -hmm. This wasn't what God had told him to do. Here's a map, and as you can see, he didn't even need to go in a boat to get to Nineveh. He was going completely the wrong way. Jonah didn't want to warn the people of Nineveh. He didn't really care about them. Once Jonah was on the boat, God sent a terrible storm. The sailors were really frightened. And then Jonah admitted that it might be his fault. He persuaded the sailors that if they threw him out of the boat into the ocean, the sea would calm down. So they did. The Bible says that God sent a big fish to swallow Jonah. Do you want to know some fun fish facts? Of course you do. Did you know the bluefin tuna can swim at speeds of up to 44 miles per hour? Some starfish can have up to 40 arms. The Greenland shark has an average lifespan of 272 years. Oh, and the blue whale, the biggest creature in the world ever, can grow up to 30 metres long. That's the same as three buses end to end. Oh, that's interesting, Johnny. I bet you can find lots more fun facts in this aquarium in Maryport. Anyway, that fish spat Jonah out eventually, and then Jonah agreed to go to Nineveh. Jonah told the people that God was really angry with them. And the people felt bad and decided to say sorry to God and to get sorted out. God forgave the people of Nineveh, and Jonah, instead of being pleased for them, got really angry with God. I knew you'd be compassionate and loving, said Jonah. It was as if being compassionate and loving was a bad thing. Jonah didn't ever think what it was like for the people of Nineveh. He only thought about how silly he looked when he told them that God was angry with them. Jonah didn't show any empathy. Empathy means understanding another person's feelings. Trying to put yourself in their shoes. If we all showed more empathy, life would be more peaceful. 
When someone does something that makes you cross, if you stop and think about why they maybe did it, it's often easier to forgive them. When someone's feeling sad, if you take the time to listen and to understand them, it usually helps. Spending time getting to know people helps us to empathise with them. Yes, and Ruth and I, even though we work, both work for NISCU, we don't normally get to spend time together because we work so far apart. But I have really enjoyed getting to know more about where Ruth lives and where she works. Yep, and just like Debbie, I visit schools too. In fact, one of the schools I visit is just up the hill over there. God knows exactly how we are feeling and never ever leaves us. The Bible says that he is slow to get angry and full of love. The perfect example of how to show empathy. So perhaps this week you could try putting yourself in someone else's shoes. Or wellies. Don't be quick to judge people or get angry with them like Jonah. And if you find it hard to show empathy, why not ask God to help you? He's an expert. Well, that's the end of our journey videos. We've travelled with Jacob when he ran away from home and had to learn to be responsible. Thought about camels and Joseph and his long journey to Egypt where he had to show resilience. Walked around walls with Joshua showing us how to be determined. Travelled to a cave with Elijah and learned how to care. And now we've travelled with Jonah over the sea and learnt about how he needed to show some empathy. So thanks for travelling with us and next half term we're going to think about meeting new people. Perhaps you'd like to be in some of those videos, you can get in touch. Anyway, we're going to have our last outdoor challenge and uh, before that, Johnny, will you say a prayer please? Certainly. Let's pray. Thank you, God, that we get to travel to all sorts of amazing places. And thank you that in the Bible, you promise to go with us wherever we go. As we meet people, help us to have empathy for them, to care for them in the same way that you care for us. Amen.